Imagine you're out walking around when you spot a lovely spider. You decide to get a bit closer to take a picture when you quickly discover it's not a spider at all. In fact, it's actually a venomous snake. Meet the spider-tailed horn viper, the spider that's actually a snake. From the head down most of its body, it looks like your typical viper. Rough scales, V-shaped head, the usual. However, when you get down to the tail, it starts to look a lot less usual. That's because its tail looks like this. Now, vipers are not strangers to strange adaptations. Vipers tend to be the weirdos of the snake world. Rattlesnakes have their, well, rattles. Soft scale vipers rub their scales together to make a loud noise, and so on, so on. However, those examples have defensive adaptations. All vipers are venomous snakes, and they use their venom to kill their prey. So why exactly would a viper develop an adaptation that seems to encourage animals to attack it? That comes down to location. Spider tail horn vipers are native to Iran, more specifically western Iran, and even more specifically than that, the Zagros Mountains at high elevations. The fact they live in high elevations plays into why they might have developed this adaptation. Birds. Birds also love high elevations, and birds tend to like eating spiders. Yup, spider tail horn vipers are bird eaters. How this works is a spider tailed horn viper will sit in a crevice of some sort and poke its tail out. They will wiggle their tail in various patterns, typically a figure eight, which will hopefully catch the attention of a hungry bird. That hungry bird will swoop down and try to peck at the spider, only for the viper's head to come out and snatch the bird. Once secured, the bird will be envenomated. This venom is a cytotoxin, meaning it destroys cells. Once the bird succumbs to the venom, it becomes snake food, and the viper will go about its business until it repeats the process over and over again. Specimens have been collected as far back as the 1960s. However, back then, it wasn't believed to be its own species. Rather, it was believed to be a Persian horned viper with a deformed tail. Which is fair since the two species do share a lot of similarities and do live within the same range. However, researchers eventually realized the tail was no fluke and classified it as its own species in 2006. Since then, the snake's feeding behavior had been documented on camera and more and more research has been done. Maybe one day we'll discover a snake that is actually a spider. Who knows? Thank you all for watching and until next time, take care.